The inspiration for lottery came from a lot of things in my background. First of all, I had a brother-in-law who had Down syndrome. My studies at the University of Hawaii uh, focused in disability rights and disability culture and education. And then, of course, my father won the lottery in 1993. These things weren't important um, individually, but they created a tapestry where they all kind of wove in and created a, an authenticity in the novel. Um, there are secrets and things that you know about winning the lottery um, if you've won that you wouldn't know if you haven't won. I mean, that makes, it seems obvious, you know. I, I put that into the book. What it was like to drive down to Olympia, what it was like to pick up the check, the kind of paperwork you had to fill out, the different way people look at you. Um, so so these, all of these things created the story. I think the first thing that comes is when you write about, when you write a story, is a character. The character speaks to you. Um, I, I've said this before um, to other um, readers. I say that um, uh, being a writer is like socially acceptable schizophrenia <laughs> because you have these characters talking in your brain. And Perry, um, Perry was there from the very beginning, um, telling me his story and using my experiences. My character Perry is someone who has some type of developmental disability, mental disability, mental challenge. I purposely didn't label him. I purposely did not tell you he was autistic. I didn't tell you he was Down syndrome. I did not tell you he's learning disabled. He's one of those people that we see maybe every day, maybe at a coffee shop or at a, as a beggar at a grocery store um, that we don't see. You know, they're, they're around and you don't make eye contact. He is uh, almost an everyman and he has a mental challenge and everyone makes assumptions about his capability and then what happens is he wins the lottery. And then suddenly everybody looks at him completely differently. When I started to write Lottery, I mapped out the beginning. My beginning was, it, it, interestingly enough, was pretty much exactly as I penned from the get-go. Then I moved on to the end. I have a tendency when I write to write the first chapter and the last chapter and then work my way to the story, create the arc of the story. Um, the character was there the whole time, though. The character was talking to me the whole time. I think that all writers learn a lot from their readers. I think that for me to get feedback from my readers um, has been the most gratifying experience. And I also learned what they take away from the book is not necessarily what my intention was in writing. Readers are very clever. Book clubs have been fascinating because you get a group of people, some of them um, really are um, interested in maybe the characterization, others are interested in the message, and um, it's almost a, a negotiation between the reader and writer where you're, you're discussing, and I have to admit, I, I look back and I go, well, yeah, I guess I guess I meant that. <laughs> and, um, and you learn that readers really enjoy the conversation with the author.